K8MRD has called me out. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Hey, welcome back guys. Mike, K8MRD, recently got a viewer question emailed over to him and he was asking how you can spot yourself for POTA if you don't have cell service. And one of the ways Mike mentioned was being able to use an HT that is APRS capable. Except, well, you guys know, Mike's not very fond of APRS. So he asked me to see if I could do a video on exactly how we use this radio to spot yourself. So we'll go ahead and go through that and stick around until afterwards. And I'm gonna show you a cool way that you can check to see if APRS is even going to be a possibility in the area that you're going to be going to. All right, so what you're gonna to wanna to do is compose a new APRS message and you're going to send that to AP spot. In the body of the message, you're going to start it with the exclamation point, give it a space, and then we're gonna put the word POTA. We're gonna give it another space, we're gonna give it the part number, followed by another space, our frequency, another space, SSB, or whatever mode you happen to be working for that particular activation, and then you can give it a note out there on the end of it. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. I'm gonna key one into this radio, and let's see if we can't get ourselves spotted. Well, at least a test spot in this case, because obviously I'm not at a park. Now, there's one place that me and Mike agree on APRS, and that is it is ridiculously hard to type on one of these HTs. Kenwood does it better. Well, they have a better user interface than Yezu does, but all of them are limited. When you've only got a certain amount of keys to work with, it's just a little bit more difficult to get that message typed out. But now that I've got it typed into the radio, let's go ahead and send that out. I'll hit the message transmit button. It just transmitted out. And if we give it a second, we should get a reply back here on the radio telling us that we were successfully spotted. And there's that message coming in. And as you can see, we were successfully spotted. Now, let's take a minute and show you how to figure out if APRS is maybe going to work for you in the area that you're going to. All right, so what you're going to want to do is go over to APRS.fi and zoom into the area that you want to view. Now, I'm going to pick an area that I know nothing about, so I'm actually going to plug in uh, a zip code for Mike. He's over in Huntsville, Texas. So we could take a look at this area and see if there was any activity, APRS activity in the area and what our chances were of getting heard. So I'm going to kind of scroll out here a little bit. And what I see is this Digipeter right here. Now that's just south of Huntsville, Texas. So let's assume that I was going to be in Huntsville. I was pretty sure I wasn't gonna have cell coverage, but I wanted to see if APRS coverage uh, was going to be available to me. So I'm um, right here on this Digipeter. The next thing I want to do is I want to come up and click Info. That's going to bring us to this page here. Now what this tells us is, uh, this is information for the current Digipeter. It will show you stations which heard uh, him directly on the radio, and it will show you stations that were heard directly by N5 L-U-Y, which was kind of the closest Digipeter I could see in that area. And you can see that he's hearing quite a few stations on here. But here's the trick to this. I want you to come right back up here to the top and you see where it says stations, whoop, I don't need that, where it says stations heard directly. And it says 34 on radio path. What you want to do is you want to click this link right here that says show me that on a map. And what that gives you is a heat map of exactly what that Digipeter is showing. So if we zoom out, whoop, uh, let's see, I'm having a little difficulty with this this morning. If we zoom out though, you can see that that does not extend that far to the north. Uh, right up here along I-45 is about the last packet that we're getting. And you'll see that if I was in Huntsville, Texas, I'm not going to be heard 
by this digipeter right here. Now I kind of poked around a little bit more over here before I got onto the video and I can't find any digipeters using this heat map method that would cover Huntsville, Texas. And maybe that's why Mike thinks APRS is completely useful. But you know, Mike, if you just put a digipeter up in Huntsville, you could probably get back and talk to this digipeter that's already down here to your south and help build out the APRS network. All right, now you know how to spot yourself with APRS and how to figure out if APRS is going to be a viable option for you once you get to that park. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.